Hello, I'm Liam, and welcome to my one minute guide on how to grow boysenberries. It's now boysenberry season down here on the plot, a really exciting time because I love the taste of boysenberries. They're a cross between a blackberry and a raspberry, and they really have a great flavour. I mentioned at the start that boysenberries are a blackberry raspberry cross, but they also have properties of loganberry and dewberry too. This may explain why their flavour is so good, and the fruit is bigger in size than both blackberries and raspberries. Boysenberries are large plants. I have two on my plot and each takes a space of two meters high and three meters wide. The pretty large white flowers emerge from late May with the fruits arriving a few weeks later. I train my boysenberries on a frame created by strong galvanized steel poles with thick wire strung between. I find it easiest to use a fan shape. The canes naturally spread out at ground level so I tie the canes up using garden twine. The supports need to be strong to withstand the plant swaying in the wind when in full leaf. The canes are much easier to handle than blackberries as they are thornless. It is best to plant boysenberries when dormant in autumn through to early spring. The canes grow from a central clump. In their first year, watering in hot weather will help the plants become established. Boysenberries fruit on one-year-old canes. In late summer, all canes that have produced fruit should be cut away and the new canes that are freshly grown are tied onto the supports in their place. This job can also be done in early spring. Newly planted boysenberries will provide fruit in their first year, but they will be much more prolific in their second year. Additional boysenberry plants are propagated by bearing the tips of canes into compost. Unless the weather is extremely hot, I do not water the plants. They seem very resilient. To feed the plants, I apply a mulch of well-rotted manure around their base, either in autumn or early spring. Birds and other wildlife will eat the delicious fruit given a chance. Protecting the fruit with a net is essential to achieve a successful harvest. And that's it. I hope you liked my one minute guide on how to grow boysenberries. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button or leaving a comment. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel in the usual way. Also, for more content on growing fruits, vegetables and herbs, you may like to see my website, allotmentbook.co.uk.